Hello, welcome to Thursday's Look East. On the programme tonight, and we meet the Peterborough policeman who's become a champion at pool. You're watching Look East from the BBC. Still to come, how the pool playing policeman from Peterborough became a world champion. Now here's a great story for you. It's about the Peterborough policeman who's just become a world champion at pool. After years of competing at tournaments around the world, Steve Singh has become the first Asian to win a senior world title. James Burridge has been to meet him. Lights on, eyes down, you're watching a world champion at work. Steve Singh's story is unique. The first Asian to win a senior world title at pool. This is where he's mastered his art. Countless hours spent here on the felt in Peterborough. There's so many different things um, that affect the game of pool. It could be temperature, it could be the cloth, it could be the, the type of balls. So there's lots and lots of different variations you have to think about. You, you are always learning, although people may think it's, it's some basic shots, um, but there's a tactical side of it as well. Um, I, I used to think it was just potting balls, but you know, it, I suppose it's like chess, everybody thinks you just make moves, but it's the actual tactics behind it. When he's not on cue, he's on call. A police constable in Cambridgeshire. When he's off duty, he travels the country and sometimes the world. This was his biggest moment yet, securing his first senior world title. So what is his secret? Well, it starts with a decent break. It's really, really important is to make sure all the balls are touching, especially the top three. Uh, people have, a, uh, that's a common mistake they do. They leave the top ball slightly ajar and it doesn't split very well at all. So make sure that they're all nice and tight. There you go, look at that. When I potted the last black, I, I, I sort of almost went numb. I didn't know, I couldn't feel any emotions because I, I didn't know what to do, how, how how it's going to affect me but now as it's sinking in it's slowly slowly sinking in that all the many hours on the pool table on the snooker table in the snooker halls going away to tournaments spending lots and lots and lots of money lots of time has all paid off because of this he scooped 800 pounds in prize money which just about covered his costs and a decent trophy too his trick shots aren't bad either james burridge bbc look east peterborough very clever.